Greg, you satisfied coming back? That year's layoff didn't hurt you any, did it? Did it hurt me any? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I feel like it helped me a lot. Uh, my approach to the game is a lot different this year than it ever has been. And, uh, of course, you start playing football as young as I did, and you never sit in the stands. And so when you do sit in the stands, I think it gives you a different outlook of how the overall thing's going and like that. So I think I have a clearer picture about what football is all about now than I had a year in the stands. What was your best game, would you say? Uh, I think I had my best game during the Arkansas game, but a couple of other players might not have had their best game. <laughs> <laughs> and how does Penn State compare with the Razorbacks? Are they as fast? Uh, Are they fast? Uh, I think it was Morton played against us in the Arkansas game, and Lydell Mitchell kind of runs just a little bit like him, kind of bases back. And uh, with an eye, it's even going to be even more because the uh, play starts one way, it shoots off the back out the other side. That's the way Penn State makes most of their yardage. Jim, did you play handicap this year? Weren't you injured a uh, number of times? Well, I, I guess so. It, it's a uh, kind of injury where it really didn't didn't hurt all the time, but I guess you kind of subconsciously, you know, play kind of conservative. You don't want to put your shoulder someplace where it might get hurt again. So uh, I guess it probably hurt me a little bit, but just, just how much, you know, it's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, my, I hit my elbow on the, on the turf, ash turf, and it just kind of jammed it back up. Would you rank this year as one of your as the uh, your most satisfying coming back like the club did? Well, no, I don't really think so. Uh, of course, I'm I'm proud that we did come back and everything. But as far as being satisfying, I guess probably uh, both the other years were more because we you know undefeated in the regular season for both of them, and, and uh, you know winning being national ranked and number one is is uh, just means so much that it's uh, kind of hard to compare when you're only Eight and two, and number two, number fourteen or twelve, whatever we are now.
Could you describe what you found in the house last night? Four candles lit in three different closets and one in the uh, kitchen cabinet. Where did the candles come from? Uh, my wife uh, had them out for uh, Christmas decor. Wasn't there a broken window in the house too? Yes. Is that the place where they came in or do you know? I do not know. Doesn't this make you feel that someone is trying to force you to leave this city? I have mixed emotions about it, uh, Jim. Um, I think some would like, but more would want me to stay. And uh, this time I feel like following the majority. You don't, in you don't intend to move? I have no intentions of leaving. The Lavender family, as of this date, authorizes an award in the amount of $2,000, now on deposit with the National Bank, Mercantile National Bank of Dallas, uh, in the amount of $2,000. In addition to this, the friends of Carrie Lavender have posted another $2,000, bringing a total of $4,000 reward for the, any information leading to the discovery and positive identification of Mr. Lavender. Uh, anyone having information concerning the whereabouts of Carrie Lavender can contact the Grapevine Police Department or your local police station. No evidence points to any possibility that our unit was at the scene of this burglary. This burglary occurred on Sunday, and as far as we can tell, our unit and officer were within our city at the time. The two incidents appear to be unrelated. So why was this man released from his duties in Forest Hill? My officer was released from duties here due to departmental violation policy. What was that? Uh, the violation was being out of the city limits, having unauthorized riders in the patrol car. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it depends on, you know, quite a few things. If they're seen on Liddell or, you know, like it just depends. I really, you know, don't know. Yeah. What type of a game plan do you think you'll have to have in order to beat Texas? Well, uh, I think we'll have to do a little bit of everything, really, because uh, last game, you know, like they did show that, you know, that they can key on backs. And uh, so, you know, you will have to have a passing attack also. And uh, I think, you know, we'll be able to combine them both very effectively. Do you feel you have to establish the run first before you go to the pass? Right. Uh, I think, you know, that we can establish a run. You know, I think if they, uh, you know, do leave us open, I think, we, we, you know, we will will run effectively. And uh, But I don't think, you know, they'll, you know, they'll let us run that wild. Do you think it'll be a, a high-scoring game, Franco? Uh, I hope so. Really, and like I think it can be, but then again, you know, it'd be one of those things where you know you just don't know. Due to the energy that's coming out from a group of people in this community, I feel that with, with energy and with time and with talent, we'll reach the hundred thousand by March first. What happens if you get eighty-seven thousand dollars by March first and you I, don't have the hundred thousand? I'm not even going to think about it. Hundred thousand's the goal. Well, you're going to have to think about it then. If you get it, and the city council says, "Sorry, Ann, you should have had a hundred thousand if you wanted this delay for a year," then you're in kind of a strange fix, aren't you? Oh, I think the city council will take another look at it March 1st, and if we've raised $87,000, as you say, I'm sure that they'll give us a few more weeks. Uh, after all, $100,000 is over three times the amount of money that could have been raised by a zoo fee. We have just reached a settlement that I think uh, is going to be great for the United States and other principal trading countries around the world. Okay, for once and for all, I don't know if this will settle anything, but are you going to be a candidate for vice president? No, I'm not going to be a candidate for anything. I'm a candidate to come home to Texas just as soon as I possibly can.
Do you have any uh, ideas for politics in Texas? No, no I don't. Uh, I don't, I, as you know, served uh, uh, as governor of this great state and it was a matter of tremendous uh, pride and satisfaction to me that I was able to do so. And um, I have a continuing interest in politics, although uh, frankly I have no great uh, desire or ambition to ever uh, personally engage uh, uh, in political campaigns again for, for myself. Well, I've asked the governor to have a special session uh, to deal only with uh, tax and tax reform here in the state. I think that due to the, the, uh, the school case, there is very, uh, very many similarities between the school and the city property taxes, and I think that it's important that we have a special session of the legislature to deal with this, uh, this immense problem, I think, that uh, has been created in the state. What do you feel will happen if the governor does not call a special session? Well, I think there's all the likelihood that a lawsuit, a very costly lawsuit, that will be, uh, will be filed much, uh, uh, much like the one that was filed in the school case, and that would be uh, uh, throw the entire property tax system here in the state in the, into a complete upheaval. Dallas City Councilman Gary Weber, who has formed the Tax Council of Texas Cities, has proposed that there be a special session of the legislature to work on tax reform. Do you favor a special session to deal with this kind of tax reform? I think there is a real need for legitimate tax reform in Texas, uh, Travis. But I feel like that a special session, calling the legislature down for 30 days to deal with a problem this difficult, would be a mistake. The legislature's not informed. And that's what's uh, wrong with the Texas legislative process right now, and that's why we so desperately need to change our legislative uh, system, and that we're passing legislation too hurriedly. Uh, they're, they're not qualified. They're not informed when they're voting on on a difficult piece of legislation. And I don't think a special session is the proper atmosphere to bring about legitimate tax reform. I was very pleased um, with the general outline followed. I think it, it reflects a, an interest that the county government has in the operation of this program. I think it will enable us to have a sounder, more practical operation than we've had in the past. Do you think you can cut down overages like this $168,000 of 1971? I think that we're going to give it every possible try at the same time in uh, being able to offer quality services to the children that come into our care. feel like that I'm serving on a board that uh, has very little effect uh, uh, for the poor people of this community. I feel like that uh, to some extent it's a training ground for uh, uh, candidates for elective office. I've watched this and if you go back and look at the record that you'll see that many of them have run for uh, uh, political office. Uh, there's so much conflict and besides that, uh, this program was only supposed to be uh, the duration of five years. Uh, and after a five-year period, uh, the community would accept those programs that were beneficial to the people in the community, the poor people in the community. Private institutions or uh, governmental entities would take over those programs. I think we'll point toward following the Constitution of Texas of 1876, which requires 
uniform, equal assessment and collection of taxes. That's what has not been done for a hundred years in our state. Yes, uh, we made a formal request today by way of letter from the city manager's office. Uh, the uh, uh, district uh, uh, office in Dallas from HUD uh, replied to that letter indicating that uh, this project did qualify under this particular section of uh, emergency appropriations uh, of the uh, HUD Act and uh, gave us the directions for following through on our formal application. From being a teacher in Dallas, I don't think this would ever happen because we do have a good school system and uh, uh, there wouldn't seem any need, but uh, we can't be too naive. It's happened to other good cities too.